I've always had reservations about special schools. I don't like the idea of separating kids because they have different needs. But I've heard about one right on my doorstep in Pinar that sounds interesting. Hello. I'm Ben. Hi, Ben. Richard, nice to meet you. What's your I'm name? Jamie. Jamie, nice Would to you meet like you. Would you like to go on a tour? Yeah, I'd love to go on a tour. Okay, follow us. Cool. Ascola Derry takes kids from 3 to 19 years old. Almost half of its students have autism. Hello, Ben. What's your name? This is... Richard. My name's Richard. Hi. Richard? Yeah. This is Richard. Yes, I'm Richard. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, so arts and crafts in here, yeah? yeah? How, long you, how long have you been here? Well, I've been here for about three years. I wasn't diagnosed with my autism until I was... 11 years old, so when I went to junior school, all the way through, I was bullied, um, and then I was transferred over to high school, um, when I, and my first six months there, I had my arm broken by another student, then I got moved on to private school, got asked to leave there, um, and I moved over here, and I've been here ever since. Wow, you've been through a lot. Yeah. I was kicked out of school, so... How come you were kicked out of school? Naughty. Naughty? I got bullied as well. Did you? Absolutely hated it. But since I've been here, yeah, I've had loads of friends. Friends with the teachers as well. Yeah? Are so, the teachers nice? Yeah. The school has 256 students with a range of disabilities. So this is the flat? Yeah. So what's this area like? This, this, is, the, this is like the living room area where you can yeah. learn about social interactions. Yeah. It's, um, like a, it's like a proper little crib, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's amazing in here. It's absolutely superb. It's like... I've learned so much from this room myself. Have you? Yeah. I've like, learned, what kind of things? Like, I've learned to make tea, I've learned to cook, clean. What kind oh, of things are you cooking in here? I made toast. Yeah? I cooked a chicken in here once. Did you? Yeah. Roast chicken. A roast chicken? Yeah. Yeah, it's, been, it's <sighs> absolutely lovely in here. It is really nice in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's quite... Yeah. It's quite sort of calm in here as well, isn't yeah. it? Everything that's in here is like your first kind of steps towards independence. Yes. Yeah? It's been... It's been a long journey, but I feel I'm gonna I'm gonna make something of my life. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Are you allowed to to sort of you know venture out on your own or, or go to shops or anything? I've got like no that? sense of danger, so you I've don't. Got, I've got to be out with an adult. Or something Come like out that. with me, and we c I can teach him about the dangers of the road. Because get learning things from an autistic point of view makes it so much easier for that other autistic person to learn. Right. We understand where everyone's coming from in this school. That makes sense. I mean, you know, like, obviously, it's kind of unique individuals can understand each other yeah. better. Yeah. It's a massive school, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's too big. You can get out of breath just walking around here. <laughs> right. Wow, it's a, like a proper little salon. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. So there's a nail bar going on here. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, have you enjoyed your tour of the school so far? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Class sizes are much smaller than regular schools, and the curriculum focuses on life skills as much as academic achievement. So this is a careers corner. So this is, this is the careers this corner. This is a careers corner, yes. And I think part of our sessions here as well are about kind of managing hopes, dreams and expectations and, you know, what's realistic for jobs. That, that can be tricky, I guess. Yeah, so how do, you, how do you do that? We have placements in school, but also when they get to sixth form, they'll go out on an external placement. And it's trying to just show them what's realistic, really. Most of the students do want to kind of end up working or...? Yeah, I think the majority have all kind of got a plan for in the future. Most of them do want to go out to work, yeah. Um, the majority will want to go to college first and develop their skills there. They've all got the ca capability to go on and learn further, so we'd, we'd try and encourage that before employment. So, this is the playground. Pretty foggy out here today. Yeah, it is. Right. Do you think that um, all children with special needs should go to a special needs school? Yeah. People who have the same sort of like 
differences as me should come to schools like this because it's a coping situation whereas if they went to a mainstream school they wouldn't cope in such in that, that situation does this place feel like a safe place to you this school yeah, yeah. do you look forward to coming here i love it do you yeah i love this school <laughs> yeah yeah thanks a lot guys bye 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 That place is amazing. I have always wanted Jacko to be part of the real world and to learn about the world around him, but that is the real world in there, you know? Um, that wasn't a bubble mentality in there. They're not being sort of sheltered from the big bad world, you know? They're being equipped and they're gaining the tools to be able to survive and they're doing it in a really kind of forward thinking, inclusive way. And yeah, I don't see that place as a bubble. I thought I would, but I, I don't. I don't. I thought it was really impressive in there. So remember? <laughs>